For years, cement blocks have been piled on the shores of the ancient Egyptian port city of Alexandria to keep the sea at bay. But by 2050, as the Earth's temperature rises, much of the city is expected to be underwater. Locals say the prospect is terrifying. It is a scary thing, but I am one person. There's nothing I can do about it. We have heard Alexandria will sink into the sea, but we don't know when or even if it's true. Flooding has already destroyed properties and displaced families in Alexandria. Families that are almost always part of the one-third of the country's population living in poverty. World leaders are meeting this week at the UN Climate Change Conference, known as COP27, in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, trying to devise ways to compensate the world's most vulnerable communities, which are also among the world's poorest. This year's UN Climate Conference is the first to formally address this contentious issue, making it a top agenda item, along with its main item, to reduce emissions worldwide to limit global warming, a long-established goal that is far from being met. Leaders say not acting on these dual goals could be catastrophic. Experts are predicting as many as one billion climate migrants crossing international borders in the balance of this century. Think of the millions that are crossing borders now and the xenophobia and authoritarian populism that is caused by a large surge of refugees. And then imagine, if you will, what a billion climate refugees would do. Unprecedented deadly fires, floods, heat waves, and storms have ravaged the earth this year, and experts say they are expected to get significantly worse in the future if the earth's temperature continues to rise at its current pace. And in Alexandria, residents say it is obvious that wealthy countries are responsible for the damage. <laughs> Developing countries and poor countries don't have means like factories to pollute the air. It's the other countries creating the problem, and they should be responsible for fixing it. He says he wonders whether Egyptians can start farming in the deserts, as UN climate experts predict rising sea levels may wipe out nearly half the country's agricultural output within the next 40 years. For Hameda El-Rassam in Alexandria, Egypt, Heather Murdoch, VOA News.